In uh, the Aeronauts, I played James Glacier, who was a 19th century scientist who believed that you could predict the weather, but to go up into the sky and to try and prove himself right, he, he needed an aeronaut, he needed a pilot, so he finds Amelia Wren. Along the way, there's adventure, there's storms, there's crazy stuff that happens to them. Do they live? Do they die? You'll have to see the movie. Huh? Working with Eddie and Felicity was a really lovely experience, uh, in part because they'd worked together beforehand, and so they already had this sort of, not only a chemistry, but like a, a, a respect for each other, and they inspired each other. You become very close with people when you work with them. It's incredibly intimate and wonderful. But quite often you then disappear out into the ether and you go and do your own work. But Felicity and I have remained friends and getting to push each other and spar even more so and getting to dance together again on this film was extraordinary. We've just built up such trust and you have a shorthand so you don't have to sort of um, be polite around each other. You do a scene and then you can go, that's rubbish, let's do it again. You cut straight to the quick. I'd love audiences to come to the film and, and be inspired by the uh, extraordinary lengths that these early aeronauts went to in order to expand our knowledge of the world. Apart from just the scale and the beauty of the film, a sense that women can kind of do anything. And I think we're increasingly we know that as, as, you know, as times move on, but we still sometimes forget. But actually in this, she's very much the action heroine. So I think that's a really, she's a good role model. There's nothing more beautiful and the stars in the sky. We are dancing amongst them. We should think of slowing. No.